Well, hey friends, I just thought I would hop on because I'm super excited about these ridiculous boxes I got from UPS today. I held a wine tasting party with my girlfriends in the Poconos on Friday of this week. And I've never done that before. I've done wine tastings. I've done wine tastings all over the world. My favorite one was probably Strasbourg, France. But I'm telling you what, I learned so much about pairing what foods can make wine taste different if you don't like wine, certain things that you can lick or whatever to, to enjoy the wine. And so, <laughs> I know I'm so busy. You guys know, if you follow me, you know I'm busy. I run my business, I run two businesses, my lemongrass spa business and my Rachel Town business for network marketing. But I thought, well, hell, this was freaking fun and I wanna do this with my friends. So. I got, I got a lot of wine. It was a big party. Check out all these boxes I just got in the mail today. A little ridiculous, but I got that big boy, that thing, and that big hubba jump. Look at my mother. <laughs> She's going to kill me. She is practicing for, we're, we're doing makeup and stuff for her um, Halloween party this weekend. But look at what I got. I'm so excited. And one thing that's really cool is as a traveling vineyard consultant or slash a wine guide, you could do a wine tasting at your house and I would ship all of the wines to your house. And then I would just FaceTime just like this, except you'd I'd be able to see your beautiful face. So I thought I would just open up this box with you and show you things that I got and maybe answer any questions that if you're interested in doing a wine tasting and I can send out one of the um, wine tasting kits that's going to be wines based on your preference and maybe have you step outside the box a little bit and try some that you didn't think you like so that I can show you foods that you can eat so that you would enjoy them. But I did start opening this one. I didn't go through it yet because I'm like, oh, I should share with my friends. So this I'm having for lunch. <laughs> this was when you joined in October. And whether or not I do anything with this in, as a business or if I just enjoy doing wine tastings with my friends and getting discount wine, I thought, well, hell, I want these little spritzers. So these are wine spritzers. It's a white wine um, spritzer and it comes in a can. And I haven't tried them yet, but I'm not kidding. I'm gonna have one for lunch. Actually, I may as well open it right now and give it a little taste. <laughs> Is it ever really too early for wine? Mm. Smells good. Oh, it's lovely. So it tastes like a nice semi-sweet white wine with a little bit of fizz. I like that. So this was what I got for joining the company and I'm excited about that. I got this travel. <laughs> You're going through this at the same time I am. I got this six case, uh, six carrying bottles bag. I got two pourers, and so this was just as signing on as a, as a wine guide, you get these things for free. So I got these two pourers, and it looks like they have the stoppers in them, so that's nice. My dogs are going to start barking because Amazon is dropping off one hell of a delivery out there. I got a corkscrew, little care. Oh, it's a nice travel one, too. Oh, and it's a bottle opener. Handy. So I've got this little bottle opener corkscrew travel thing. Oh, yep, you even got this thing on the side. I like that. What else do I got in this thing? I'm telling you what, guys, I got a lot of things to open. I've got, ooh, the Magic Decanter, which my mother got me, um, uh, she didn't give me a decanter, but it was an aerator basically like this, but with red wines that have that really bold tannin, um, almost that it tastes a little bit bitter. You should put it in a decanter so that it gets some oxygen, swirl it, get the, get the tannins released, or you can use an aerator when you pour it. Um, but this one I have not used yet, but I'm pretty excited about it. Oh, I see. So you'd pour it in and the, it's like a little like a glass, you pour it in and it's going to aerate the wine as it pours into your glass. So it won't be so bitter if you like red wines, but you don't love that um, on the almost like the back of your tongue bite. So that's this little magic decanter. And it has a, tr a carrying case with it. Thanks guys for hanging out with me while I do this. I freaking love unboxings. And my kids are, <laughs> my kids watch, I don't know, do yours do this? They watch like opening of LOL dolls and all these things on YouTube. That's like totally my thing right now. I'm loving it. I'm having so much fun. Hey, so I got my magic aerator or my decanter. And I have, I don't know what this is. Oh, I can't ever have enough of these babies. Traveling Vineyard um, Travel Cup. So it's got the, so this all comes in the consultant kit, which is nice. I mean, it gets you started to host your own parties. And even if you just wanted to do it at your house and have friends over with wine tastings, which I totally intend on doing. I love having friends over 
and we go to friends a lot and I'm like, we could just, we could just do wine tastings all the time. It's so fun. So I've got that. Now let me open this big box. I don't even know what's in here, but we about to find out. Do I not have my scissors? Hi. Oh, I'm going to use my corkscrew. I'm going to use my corkscrew to open this box. Let's see how sharp it is. If it can cut through a cork, it can cut through tape, right? All right. So I'm assuming there's wine in here. Um, through my party, I ended up getting a lot of rewards and I got all my wine for 25% off. Oh, this one's cool. And because I bought three bottles of wine at 25% off, I got four bottles of wine for free. So you guys know, I'm gonna show you real quick. It just, you know, the stars are aligning. I had bought that thing off Marketplace, that old, it was like a sideboard, and I turned it into a wine cabinet and a, like a coffee bar. I mean, seriously, this was like made for me. <laughs> so I'm excited to have a little side gig. And I talk to people all the time, obviously, as a network marketing strategist. I'm like, you can make so much residual income from direct sales. And even some people are like, well, I can't sell anything. I'm like, you're literally not selling. Like I'm just sharing and having fun with people and I make an income with it. And that's how I do with Lemongrass Spa. I've been very successful because I love to help people love their skin. I love organic and handmade products. I love these things. And that's one reason I really liked Traveling Vineyard was because everything is sustainably sourced. The The wines are exclusive to this company. They're very unique and you can't get those at the, at the grocery store or the ABC store, the liquor store. You just can't get them there, but it's cool to be able to have them. So this is what I was thinking. I was like, do I have a lot of time to do a side gig? Like, do I actually have a lot of time because I have a full-time career? And then I was like, well, even if I did a wine tasting at my house on Sunday, which I have people over to drink anyway, and I could make money off of it, or if my girlfriends wanted to have a get together, which they do all the time, and we did a wine tasting, I'd make money off of it. Like, why not make a few extra hundred a month? Why, why would I not do that? So I'm like, well, done. I'm gonna do that. So this is cool. I, and she was fantastic, but she came in with this baby. And I was like, ooh, I like it. But it's like an insulated big old tote. What do I got here? How to use Smology, which was cool. Like one, I love all wine. When, my, when the woman asked, what kind of wine do you like? I was like, wet. <laughs> It's like wine. I like anything wet. Um, and she said, oh, she kind of got a kick out of it. But I did have a lot of girls there. Like, I do not like dry wine. And one in particular, I remember, and actually Aaron likes a more of a sweet wine. And they tried this white wine. It was fairly dry. And a lot of them were like, mm, mm, mm. It's not for me, it's too bitter. And so Kristen, the consultant was said, well, just take the lemon because there's, when you are a host even, it shows you what types of foods to provide based on your wine tasting. So that was really cool for me because I've never done that. The wine tastings I've done, they were the wine. And then we just had the cracker palate cleansers. Like we didn't, we didn't pair to see different flavors and different aromas. And so she had us all lick the lemon on that really bitter wine. And so we lick the lemon and we take another sip and it was like a totally different wine. It was so freaking cool. And then we did another one. Do you remember any honey? There was the lime and then... It was a, it was a lemon and there was... Oh, sorry. A what? Oh, a green grape. Yep, a green grape. And that's that like almost bitter green grape made the wine taste so good. And it was just really cool to, to show people, <laughs> you know, you're going to your friend's house, they crack open a bottle of wine, you take a sip and you're like, wow, this wine really sucks. Like, I don't want to drink this. Instead of that, <laughs> do you have any green grapes or lemons perhaps? <laughs> Hi, Aunt Kay. Hi, Ravi. How are you guys? So inside of here, it's just a carrying case for all of your wine. And because I joined, I have all of this stuff. Dream jobs do exist, become a wine guide. Um, I don't even know how to open this. Oh, that's just the top. Okay, so there's like the, the top section. And then, oh, and there's my glasses. So then you also get these tasting glasses. Aren't they cute? And you can just put them in. And there's another zipper. There's like hidden compartments everywhere. There's another big, this whole front seems to be a big pocket. And then you've got the side pocket with sommelier tins. That's cool, so you can store your little treats and such. Oh my God, we got another pocket. What's, on, what's over on this side? Oh, it's a clear, clear top. I'm digging, I'm digging this bag for many purposes here. I'm gonna take it to the beach. Okay, the other pocket has, so there's the other pocket over here and it has more sommelier tins. 
So that's what's in that box. Anything else? Okay. And then we got one more box to go through. <laughs> this is probably the wine that I ordered. Is anyone here on their lunch break? I thought, I, well, I, ironically, I just got it. I was doing mom's makeup because we're going to a Halloween costume party this weekend in Myrtle. And she says it's way too much. I should have her pop over here and have her show you guys. And do you think it's too much makeup? <laughs> she, you're going in public anyway. So she's being like a 19, what would you say, 30s flapper girl. And she's dressed a little provocatively. Aaron said, <laughs> I'm not going to tell you. What did you say? I'm not, was my mother. Oh, yeah. He, I'm not going to tell you what you can wear, but if I was your mother, no. That is, that's, that is an absolute no. You look like you're trying to go get laid. <laughs> I think she looks great. <laughs> Hi, Chris. How are you? Chris, Chris Weiss says, yes, Diane, show us. <laughs> She'll probably come over. I mean, she's going in public anyway, so here she is. What the hell? There she is. Isn't it great? I think she looks fantastic, but she's like, you caked my makeup on. Oh, she had fake eyelashes, eyelashes on, too. So what do you think, ladies? Is it too much? Is it too much for a 60-year-old to wear that out? She said, people are going to see me and think... She's trying to be 30. And I look in the mirror and I think, I could pass for a 30-year-old body. <laughs> I'm like, it's never too bad. It's never a bad thing to have so much confidence. Is it really, though? Okay. And then I've got some wines. I got the Pearls and Kicks. All of these are so, like, I, I got to tell you, I was impressed with the labeling. Like, that is a beautiful bottle. Can you imagine giving that to your girlfriend, like a house, housewarming gift or... Actually, if Kristen Tulip pops on, Kristen, this reminds me of you, and I know you would love it. It's a facade blonde, so it can make like really good um, mimosas or use it as uh, like sangria or anything. So it's got that little bit of fizz, but it's nice and sweet. And then there's the facade red. I think this is the one Aaron liked. It's it's really it's quite fruity, but it's not too sweet. But it's got that little bit of fizz. But I have a date. Yes, mom has a date. So sorry, Randy, you're gonna have to wait. And then this was the Lux. This was my favorite. It's a Merlot. And sometimes Merlot to me can taste almost earthy, but this one was so good. Like it was just, I actually, if Kristen hops on to watch this, I took a sip of it and I was like, oh, like it just, it filled my mouth with pleasure. <laughs> oh, I got more. There's a, there's a bottom layer. All right. What else we got? Oh, I love this, this one too. This was the, the Lulo, but I liked the labeling a lot. I like watercolor. I just thought that was really pretty. Bella Mer. I don't know how to say that. It's Pinot Grigio, another good one. I'm telling you guys, I got like, I got so spoiled at this party. I got so much and I got more coming. Oh, I like this one too. Isn't that pretty? It's just like a, an elegant, pretty bottle. So I thought I would just share with you guys. I would go through and open everything up. And if you're interested in doing your own event, if you're near me, of course, I want to come to your house and spoil your girls. If you're not near me, I can just have one of these tasting sets sent to your house. And then you and I will just FaceTime or Zoom and I'll educate. And oh, of course, I'm, let me just brush off that shoulder. I'm a really good consultant and I'll tell you exactly how to rock a party. That's just what I do. I train people to do it and I do it myself. So that part we're good on. And if you're interested in joining this if, you're, if you want to get started and get yourself a, a little bit of a drinking package and share with your friends, I would love to do that too. So if you want to go to my site, it is Wine with Rachel, R A C H A E L, winewithrachel.com, and you can check out all kinds of stuff. Or, of course, you can always just message me and we can chat. But <sighs> I'm pretty excited about this. Mom, you should try one. Any plans later? Mm. No. Oh. I do have to go pick up my children at four. Well, I'm trying one. But nice. it'll, be, it'll be fine by then. They're very good. Nice and spritzy. Mm. All right. I'll, have, I'll talk to you la ladies and gents later. I hope you have a fabulous day and happy Wednesday. Mm, that is really good. It is. See, see, see agrees. And mom doesn't like sweets either, so that's good. It right. tastes good. I know. Bye, guys.